Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio, so today we need to take a look. We've actually got an update about Obsidian Flames, and we've got an update about Paradox Rift, and it's kind of cool and kind of weird to have updates about both of them at the same time, but no complaints, ladies and gentlemen, no complaints. Although a few words of caution from me as we go. So starting off with Paradox Rift then, what do we see? We've got the binders. I love the binders, ladies and gentlemen. The binders make me very happy indeed. Now look, I personally don't collect in these binders. I understand some of you do, that's fine. I'm, I'm not a huge fan of the... I suppose the only way I can put it is the way the binders hold the cards. But I understand they are cool, they are thematically appropriate, lots of people love them, there is no judgement here, they are pretty gosh darn cool. And you will notice that we've got Water Type Terra Garchomp on the front of one, and Armor Rouge on the back. And then we've got Roaring Moon on the front of one, and Iron Valiant on the back. And you will notice these are, of course, they're just the booster pack images. Of course they are. This is what Ultra Pro do. They take the booster pack images. They've clearly got some kind of contract going on with Pokemon, whereby they take the booster pack images and they transpose them onto these binders. And they make incredibly cool binders. So yeah, if you like these and you like the booster pack artwork, and I generally am a big fan of the booster pack artwork, these are cool things to be picking up. Now, there is a little bit of a theme going on. The Nine Pocket Binder is going to be Iron Valiant and Roaring Moon. And it seems to be that they've kind of decided that the Nine Pocket, the bigger one, is going to be essentially the main Pokemon in the set. Because let's face it, right? Water-type Terra Garchomp, very cool. Armor Rouge, very cool. But can we all agree that the set is clearly the Iron Valiant Roaring Moon set? Like, they're the ones on the elite trainer boxes they are the big fancy pokemon that you find at the end of the game they are kind of i suppose for each of the games a headline paradox pokemon let's not go kidding ourselves here ladies and gentlemen these are clearly the quote unquote main pokemon in the set so this all makes perfect sense so yeah these are cool. Obviously, the four pocket then is your Garchomp and Armor Rouge. And by now, I'm assuming most of you know how much you like this. Like, by now, you probably understand either these are very cool, I'm going to buy them every time. Or these are kind of cool, but I'm going to stick to the ones that have Pokemon I particularly like on. Or, yeah, I'm not buying these. And it's not because they're not particularly cool. It's that I prefer other binders. And that's where I fit. I think these are very cool. But I prefer other binders personally. I like big beefy binders with just a little more heft to them. And I don't know if that actually makes any sense. But that is the best explanation I can give you. I like ones with a little more heft. So there we go. Now the other piece of news we've got here are about the Umbreon and Espeon promos from Obsidian Flames. Now some of you don't worry. We're not. I'm not just telling you about the existence of them. We're going to get there in a minute. If you're like oh I've seen these promos I don't need to watch this. No. Keep watching, ladies and gentlemen. I promise you I'm going somewhere with this. My point is, these are very, very cool promos. But I am assuming that a bunch of you have already seen these promos because they're out already. Uh, to put a long story short, I've been in Japan for the past couple of weeks. I was commentating the Pokemon World Championships. And then I was doing other various things running around Japan. So, yes, I'm going to tell you about the existence of these promos in just a second. Don't you worry. But I also need to caution you because people are paying well above the odds for these. It is too early to pay well above the odds for these. Now essentially what we've got here are Umbreon and Espeon promos. And if you search around, have a look on eBay, etc. Generally speaking, the Espeon that you're going to see is a reverse hollow with the Obsidian Flame stamp. And the Umbreon you're going to see is a reverse hollow which has the GameStop stamp. And I've told you this many times before. In my humble opinion, in my personal opinion, the worst stamp in Pokemon. There is no stamp worse than the GameStop stamp. Here's an official advert for the GameStop one, although it doesn't show the card off well enough. But you spend $15 or more on select Pokemon trading cards at GameStop. 
you get yourself the Umbreon stamp. Now, the lovely Primal Luger over at Poker Guardian has gone and made this handy little table. Shout out to them for just being awesome. But essentially, what we've got here is how to get these promos. So in the US, you're going to get Espeon at Best Buy, Umbreon at GameStop. In Canada, you're going to get the Umbreon at GameStop. And in Australia, you're going to get the Umbreon at EB Games. Presumably, there is going to be an EB Games promo. As it stands at the moment, it's not seemingly out there. At least, I'm not seeing it. Like, when, I, when I'm looking over on face, uh, Facebook and all of that, I'm, I'm not seeing the EB Games promo. Unless it is literally just got the GameStop stamp on it. And it's no different. But if there is one with an EB Games stamp specifically, I've not seen it. It's, it's just not showing up there. Could be wrong about that one. But at the moment, I can't see it. And these are obviously very cool cards. And obviously, you know, Umbreon and Espeon are, I don't think this is, you know, surprise to many people, extremely popular Pokemon. These aren't your ordinary, everyday, run-of-the-mill, hey, those are kind of cool Pokemon. These are your incredibly special, many people have them as their favorite. It's ridiculous. You know, let's not forget that the number one card in the Sword and Shield era was the Moonbryon card, that special illustration rare, whatever you want to call it, the alternate art of the Umbreon. That was the big card in the Sword and Shield era. And partly it's because it's an extremely cool card in terms of artwork, etc. But also it's because it's Umbreon. There's a reason why the other cards haven't risen to quite the level of the Umbreon. It is because Umbreon is just that gosh darn popular. It really is that simple. Espeon, not quite to that level, still a very cool card. Although, remember, as I told you, Espeon is seemingly being given out only at Best Buy, whereas the Umbreon is finding its way into many places, and that is actually being reflected at the moment in the resale prices, which we're going to have a look at in a second. But the Umbreon is currently seeming a little more sought after, which shouldn't really surprise you, because at the moment, it seems to be a little bit harder to get. So what are we looking at in terms of prices here? Well, the Umbreon, as it stands at the moment, pe people are paying way too much. This Umbreon is like an $18 card as it stands at the moment. That's ridiculous. I, I think this is too high, ladies and gentlemen. Bearing in mind, you've got to spend like $15 in order to actually get this card. So the idea of spending $18 just on the card just seems a little bit simple. Now, there is a caveat here, and there's a fairly important, fairly large caveat. Not everybody has a GameStop. Now, some people are going to be doing that silly thing that people tend to do, whereby they just overpay because they're worried about missing out. And that's fair, but it's a GameStop promo. If you've got a GameStop near you, they'll probably get it sooner rather than later, unless you've been specifically told you're not getting it. But then again, not everybody has a GameStop near them. I don't have a GameStop near me. Speaking of which, if anyone in the US who wants to try and engineer a trade with this Umbreon or Espeon, do hit me up on Twitter at the Wassy, would ya? Because I currently don't have these cards or a way to get them. But that doesn't mean they're not extremely cool. But it does mean that $18 seems a little bit too high. The Espeon, however, you know, the, here are the two top listings when we go and look on eBay. It's currently $26 and $35, which is clearly too high. But as it stands at the moment, this is only being given out at Best Buy, which means that there are far fewer people who seem to have access to it, which is pushing the price up quite considerably. Is this going to be released in other places and in other countries? Quite possibly. Now, the GameStop stamped one, we're not seeing this in Europe. We've seen this before. We don't get the GameStop stamped ones. But the Espeon that is just stamped with Obsidian Flames? I mean, yeah, frankly. I think there is an excellent chance, a really excellent chance, that we do get this. Whether it's in WH Smiths or Waterstones or wherever, there is an excellent chance that we are actually going to see this. And I think that's why I'm a little bit worried about people kind of overspending on this, because 
we've got so much time. Like I say, at the moment, we have seen a bunch of ways in which this is being released. But we've seen this movie before. I'm not guaranteeing they're going to be released in other places. I can't guarantee that. But I absolutely am telling you that we've seen this before where these promos do tend to pop up and everyone gets worried and then they just pop up in other places. Need to stress the GameStop promo, you're probably not going to see that pop up elsewhere. If you don't have GameStop in your country, you're probably not getting the GameStop promo. But the Espeon one? Really? Time to pay $35 for this? Nah, ladies and gentlemen, I really don't think it's time to pay $35 for this yet. So there we go. We've got these promos coming, which are frankly way too expensive. And now we've also got these portfolios coming in as well. I think this is pretty gosh darn cool, but I want to know what you think. So let me know in the comment section, would you go nuts? Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk about Pokemon and card games and Pokemon card games, all kinds of fun things. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, join the Discord, all kinds of fun things. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.